Hi, today I'm going to show you how to scan the QR code. First, if the person has an Android, he needs to download the QR scanner app before he can actually scan the QR code. With an iPad or iPhone, you just have to open the camera and then you scan the code and it's going to ask you and it's going to tell you to open in Safari. You can switch language, excuse me, you can switch language here from French to English. First, second, depending if the worker is an employee, employee can be a subcontractor employee also, not only a Pomelo, and you have guests. The difference between employee and guest is that if you select a job site for an employee, you're going to have the employer that's in the job site details. If you select guest, then this person will be able to type in any company, even if not in h &S. So that's good for deliveries, del del delivery men or uh, for visitors. So we go back to employee. We need to look for an office or a work site. You will receive that document by email or it will be on box. And you need to add the job number and job name as it is in h &S. So the worker, when he comes to a uh, office or work site can select the proper job site. So I will type 16.0147. Oh, I will then use ASC with B, sorry. When I select employer, it's the employers that are in the job site details. Pomelo. I complete my first name. So I complete last name. And then you have the six questions that you need to, to uh, complete. So I will say no for the training to all of them. And in the bottom, you have submit button. So you click on submit. Then you have your green check mark. This green check mark will remain on the cell phone uh, for the day. So if you see a worker, you can always ask this person to show you his green check mark. The day after, so tomorrow, when the same worker wants to uh, do another um another uh, questionnaire, the Safari that he used will have the same information except for the six questions. So the job site, the uh, employer, first name and last name will stay on the page and he just have to he just has to complete the six questions and submit again. You can see in the in HNS the QR codes that were completed for the day. You click on prevention, you go to COVID-19, and you can see that I completed the QR code today on the ASA Whitby job site, and I have a green check mark so I can access the job site.